The state of Missouri's push to repay unemployment struck a chord with many of you. We heard from hundreds after last night's News 4 investigation. Many with the same story. The state is demanding they return funds desperately needed during the pandemic. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger broke the story tonight. She continues watching out for you. Over the last few weeks, and especially after our story aired last night, I have heard from hundreds of people who got letters from the state of Missouri shocked and worried. So we took their concerns straight to top leaders. If I don't have something by the end of January, I'm on the street. Bridget Freshetti is one of thousands now in debt to the state of Missouri. Yeah, they said I owe 5360 Now they want $2,400 paid back to them. And I said, no, actually, you owe me money. Few say they can get any answers. You can call on four hours, and all of a sudden they'll say, your call is important to us. Please try again later and hang up on you. I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. People all around the state receiving letters, some saying there was an unintentional error or omission in their unemployment benefits, and as a consequence, they have to pay back the unemployment funds. Many of them received over months, money they say they desperately needed. You're going to come in like take the clothes off my child's back because that's what I used to buy with some of the money. News 4 investigates revealed data showing the state says over 11,300 people were overpaid under the federal pandemic unemployment compensation fund. The total amount over $44 million federal taxpayer funds administered by the state. Should the state have been able to catch these errors sooner? Yes, they should have. And that really comes down to the resources we give the department. State Representative Doug Clemens says outdated systems and understaffing may be to blame. But now he says the state shouldn't be asking for the money back in most cases. Ultimately, the department does have the discretion to forgive these debts. And in these times, I really honestly feel that we need to do everything in our power to make sure that the money stays in these folks' pockets if it's no error of their own. He says in a time of crisis, the state shouldn't be threatening to penalize people for simple mistakes. And those penalties are very, very real, which is again why I suggest folks reach out to their elected official, because with no intervention, their paychecks will start to be garnished. Their tax returns will start to be held and we can intervene and make sure that those things don't happen. He's drafting a letter to the governor, but in the meantime, if this is happening to you, he says, please reach out to your elected official. That's what we're here for. We work for the people. It is absolutely unacceptable, um, and I'm appalled at their behavior. People like Bridget say they still can't even believe it. It's disheartening. You know, I've, I've kind of lost my faith in the system. Missouri isn't the only state dealing with this. Many others are reporting they too incorrectly paid people. The state of Illinois reports it overpaid about $36 million from the federal pandemic unemployment compensation fund. I have heard from so many people and you can just hear and feel their frustration and stress. We have put some additional resources for people who are in this situation on this story at KMOV.com, and you can bet we will keep following the situation. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates. And we have been working to hear from your elected leaders on the issue. Tonight, only Congresswoman Ann Wagner. She's asking people to contact her office. We have a link for you inside Lauren's story on the KMOV News app.